Hi there. In this lecture we see a remarkable form pawn installation which really helps take care of the white position. This is Alpha Zero against Stockfish 8. We have a book given, book moves given, the French defense, the classical variation with Bishop G5 in fact. So okay we have Bishop E7, E5, Knight FD7, and now the book move given Bishop takes E7, Queen takes E7, F4, black castles, Knight F3, C5, Queen D2, Knight C6, D takes C5, Queen takes C5, and white castles queenside, Knight B6. Now it looks a little bit scary already. This is still in book, but now this first move out of book, it looks still a little bit scary here. White plays H4, which has got a form pawn plan, believe it or not. Despite black having a potentially dangerous C file here, we see bishop d7, h5, rook a c8. So is this actually too slow or is it going to help matters to install a pawn and kind of block our own rook? Don't rooks need open files or semi-open files as the principle goes? The thing is, this is safeguarding our position. We are faced here with things like knight a5 to c4 or you know to c4 here and queen b4 this is super dangerous so how on earth would this safeguard against this kind of brutal attack putting a knight on c4 and going for b2 it looks super dangerous but bear with it we have knight g5 knight a5 and now third rank defense rook h3 which is important knight a c4 now this bishop hasn't moved yet so it's not wasting a tempo or anything it just takes on c4 immediately knight takes c4 and what is the move here and why is it important for 500 points don't underestimate how much the form pawn is taking care of us here so this is an absolutely remarkable move which really does the job super well for unexpected reasons maybe tactically but it it is like when we install stuff like a form pawn, it is often taking care of our position. Well, the Alpha Zero installations. And here we have actually Queen D4. So the thing is, it's virtually forced. If Queen E2, Queen B4, and yes, Black's semi open C file is dangerous. And what do we do about B2? Do we play B3? Then there's Queen A3 check and checkmate. So Queen D4, how on earth does this help? Well, actually, it is an X-ray defense, and it also is an X-ray attack in one move. Move. It's kind of double X-ray defense and attack move. It's a beautiful move. It's a highlight move for me for this game, showing the power of the form pawn in looking after us, the form pawn installation. So actually, queen takes d4 was played. So let's reveal what's going on here. If queen b4, what is the point for 100 points? Yeah, we use the x-ray defense with knight takes d5. So now we are actually literally defending b2. And this is smashing through as well. If e takes d5, we have e6. So we have the attack now. The x-ray, previous x-ray attack is now an attack. Threatening mate. So for example, here is checkmate. And if f6, we can take on d7. And here... We can take on d5 in fact and use rook b3 so this is really great stuff and we're going to be winning material crushing it in fact so yes wonderful stuff so queen before knight takes d5 and if queen takes b2 check here we can take on b2 play knight f6 check and then yeah we're just winning material we're just material up here so a beautiful move so queen takes d4 is played so that first battle is won now the second battle is about this knight finding a good place we have e takes f6 so it seems as though this is and the knight is irritating to black here and f6 is like a bid for liberation but we have e takes and now we do have a backward pawn on semi open foul and we can either try and win that pawn or establish a knight on e5 later we have knight d6 with a positional threat of knight f5 sometimes sometimes at the moment the knight is protecting against f7 if rook takes f6 had been played we can play b3 stop the knight going to f5 and here we have a nice advantage against the backward pawn so knight d6 was played we have b3 rook takes f6 if knight f5 f7 check and here rook d3 
this position we're getting a very very nice position with rook c3 big advantage so rook takes f6 g4 prevents knight f5 bishop c6 if rook c f8 knight e2 bishop c6 this position is actually in white's favor white can make use of the e5 square soon with a big advantage and start putting pressure on the queen side for example it's a really comfortable position for white with that knight on e5 so bishop c6 is tried we have knight e2 rook e8 knight going back to f3 we have knight e4 g5 rook f5 rook h1 bishop b5 and now c4 and we have bishop c6 knight e5 and here actually stockfish gives up the exchange so why give up the exchange here is, is there enough to giving up the exchange if a6 we can play like this king b2 and in fact we can start to put pressure on the black position for example like this where d5 is vulnerable so say black gives up the knight we have a better knight versus bishop here super comfortable position black would have to give up the exchange anyway basically here if rook f8 rook c5 this position knight g4 knight f6 check this is just a really good position taking out h7 and uh, if king h8 there by the way this position is just too dominating so we can use the c file in, infiltrate on the seventh rank as example and any end game here we can just snap off and win the king and pawn ending so okay the exchange sacrifice is looks like desperate really f takes e5 knight takes g5 it's only for one pawn at the moment anyway so c takes d5 bishop takes d5 if e takes we can use rook f4 and here you're know, giving up another pawn this is good enough because we get this nice knight on d4 and in fact yeah because of the form pawn as well we have a really excellent position we're driving the rook back to defend against rook of eight mate and here yeah it's just a very pleasant position indeed where black is pretty tied up the knight's trying to defend f7 against rook f7 g7 so say we get a position like this and a position like this we're just going to be better here in these scenarios so bishop takes d5 is played we have rook hd1 knight f7 knight c3 bishop f3 rook 1 to d3 bishop c6 yes if knight takes e5 we can just play rook e3 and we're going to be potentially winning material or getting a rook to the seventh rank yeah it's, it's unpleasant so you know knight c6 we can get a rook to the seventh rank hitting b7 and this is this is going to be great for us so yes that is a very precarious position for black so we have bishop c6 knight e4 now knight takes e5 here we have if bishop takes e4 this position is fine for us a rook on the seventh rank starting to win material so knight takes e5 we have rook c3 now this is an accurate move if knight f6 check well all half zero moves are accurate taking taking this is just equal actually this particular configuration this particular position is just equal now we're going to get something similar so black's got two pawns for the exchange we actually get something similar looking in the game after this simplification it looks as though black's got two pawns for the exchange here but this is very different actually very different configuration because actually we have an immediate threat now after b4 of breaking through to that seventh rank if we can get a rook on the seventh rank we can get our king well up the position and to, to help support the rook so this is so dangerous we have e5 so if a6 a4 and we don't mind sacking a4 so this position is also a bind for black black's really in trouble here and we've we've got a latent we've got a threat here of rook takes g6 for h7 queening so the bishop comes to make sure that rook takes g6 is not on this is just a variation just to show you and in fact we are doing really well with a king march here and we can make progress the particular way we'd make progress here we want our king coming to g7 
without g5 and we can actually arrange that for example like this just show you how to how that could be arranged so we can get a position where basically here king f6 now okay g5 could be played in this position true true but we're still going to be winning basically and if it's not then we are going to play rook g g5 king g7 and we're going to take out h7 winning with a pass pawn soon very quickly queening so anyway e5 is tried we have a4 bishop takes a4 rook c7 so is it worth the, the pawn sacrifices so free pawns for the exchange king d2 now rook takes h7 is also getting material back and is also a very advantageous position for white but king d2 we have king g8 check king h8 king comes up king comes up rook takes a7 so the black king in prison basically and the white king's coming up we've just basically got this possible the end of the game actually was at rook takes h7 this was the end of the game here where we're making progress with a pass pawn on this side of the board so say b5 check this is a kind of giving up move so this doesn't happen so the game ended up move 49 rook takes h7 just to be clear so b5 check king takes b5 this is just analysis we've got the king restricted and we're just going to make way with this past b pawn it's an absolutely winning position so very very interesting how the form pawn strategy in an opposite side castling game can be so effective there's a very key move queen d4 so kind of x-ray defending x-ray attacking which is absolute beauty and stands out as a remarkable aspect behind the scenes of this un otherwise kind of unsung alpha zero game but the whole yeah the rook on on the third rank here the bishop that didn't move it's kind of optimized against this kind of attack it's a beautiful concept x-ray defense and attack at the same time in my view and we see that in that beautiful variation here of queen b4 which is which wasn't played so knight takes d5 what a move what a crushing idea using the form pawn using the queen on d4 wonderful stuff so form pawns can actually subtly safeguard our position even in an opposite side casting scenario i hope you enjoyed this one so in the event we had a, a positional war after this positional battle which was very interesting so really enjoyable game positionally tactically i hope you enjoyed it thanks very much all comments questions likes and subscribes really appreciated thanks very much